Well, here it is. Fresh new material from skull-crushing new rock artist Escape the Fate. They've got two new songs. This one's Bad Blood. I really like this one in particular. I love Craig's opening scream. It comes in at about 26 seconds deep or so into the cut. It's just amazing. You know, one of the things I like about this artist is they combine just enough power with just enough pop sensitivity to make it accessible to everybody. And even if you're normally a type of person who shies away from this music, their message for you is that sometimes good things really can be found in unexpected places. Now, it's been suggested that this new material is speaking to the ongoing tension between current singer Craig Mabbitt and founding singer Ronnie Radke, as well as the fan bases of those two respective singers. So here's where I'm coming in on all this. First of all, nothing can ever take away from what Ronnie Radke did for this artist right from the very start. It was his charisma, it was his presence and his amazing one-of-a-kind voice that drew them the attention they needed to put them on the map and set them up for success in the first place. Now once there, of course they had all, of, all the talent to back it up and follow through. But the fact that he brought them to that place stands for all time. So does this CD. It is so far beyond the realm of anything that had ever come down before or has come down since that there simply is no topping it. And one final thing about Mr. Radke himself. Even if he did make some poor decisions to put himself where he is right now, it still doesn't mean that he actually deserves to be where he is right now. Think about that for just a second. What if you or I had to stand for the full measure of consequence for every single time we said or did anything that was even just a little bit off the mark? Are you really prepared for that? Really? Craig also has to be recognized fully for everything that he's done since that time. He gave new life to this artist at a time when they were down. None of them knew what was coming up next. They just knew that there was no going back. And had he tried to come in as a second Ronnie Radke, it would have been a huge fail all the way around. No, they had to go to an altogether new and different place. And Craig took them there, and he did it his way on his terms, using his own unique special energy, and simply by being the person that he already is. Funny how that keeps coming back up, isn't it? Along the way, he has more than proven several times over that even if their first CD can ever be topped, it certainly can be equaled on any given day. Hotness of Singer? Yeah. Check. Absolutely. Now a couple of afterthoughts here. In the wake of all of this, Ronnie is about to stage his own comeback with a new project and some new material. Can't wait for that. I'm sure it's going to be sick. And the other thing coming out of this is it left another artist, Bless the Fall, with some huge holes to fill. They had to regroup and come back, and they did stronger than ever as well. So, whereas you had two really good artists going into all this, you now have two, and I'm sure soon to be three, amazingly sick, great artists coming out of it. Surely, this pleases the Lord. Okay, I, I think that's about it. I, I know that's plenty, so I really appreciate you for hanging with me through all this, but I had a lot of ground to cover with this. Anyway, this has been your good friend Steve. Thanks all of you for watching. Can't wait to see all of you up here next time, and thanks once again to Escape the Fate. You guys never disappoint. With that, I'll see everybody again soon. Steve out.